Hi, my name is Sarth and I'm the game developer behind Project Boycott and today I'm very proud to announce that we are finally launching it. So, it took me exactly one month to create Project Boycott. I started on March the 5th and today the day I'm recording this video is April 5th. So that's exactly one month and that's the amount of time it took for me to create Project Recoil uh, right up from the basics. So if you're here for the download link, it's going to be in the description below. And if you're kind of interested in the journey uh, that I took throughout the whole development process, you guys can continue on to the video. So yeah, without wasting any time, let's start the video. So before we start this video, I would like to thank a few people and the first guy I would like to thank is called Belton King. His tutorials are absolutely amazing so if you're looking to get into like FPS game development, go ahead and check out his tutorials, they are absolutely amazing. And Belton King is like one of the best teachers I've ever had so thank you Belton King so much, you are just incredible. And the next guy I would like to thank is called Brackies. Like when I first got into game development, I followed quite a lot of his tutorials and they're absolutely incredible. I'm also actually using a couple of his assets. Like most of my map is a part of his FPS desert environment pack, which is an absolute uh, beast pack, I would call it. And the pistol in my game is also a part of his modern weapons pack, which is also a very good pack. So if you're getting into game development, go ahead and check out Brackies. And the third guy I would like to thank is called Danny and he's actually my inspiration. So the story goes something like uh, a day before my camera exam, um, I was actually take, watching his video and I got so much inspired that dude today I'm here making my own video and I'm out with Project Recoil. So thank you Danny so much, you're an absolute inspiration for me. And yeah, now let's just get into my journey. So the journey started on March the 5th, that's when I got over with my exams and I started working on the game. Um, during the first one week I was basically working on the FPS character controller because before this I had no idea about FPS character movements. I had worked on a basic Unity game before but nothing like an FPS game. So during the first one week I was basically working on these character controllers and the cameras and stuff. And at the end of the first week the basic mechanics of the game were then sorted out and we also added a very basic weapon. I started off with a basic pistol that I made using a couple of blocks. I added weapon mechanics to it like sway bob, recoil, head bob, kickback and yeah that's literally what I did during the first one week of game development. So during the second week I started working on the networking part of the game which was probably the hardest part because writing network codes is insanely hard. Uh, but I think we came across it pretty successfully because towards the end of the second week I had a proper multiplayer system working. And um, during the second week, I also worked on the heads up display. I ended up adding the kill and death counters, a health bar, uh, a leaderboard, and also an emo counter. And I also created the end game functionality so after like every 3 to 4 kills, the game would end and all the users would be taken back to the main menu. So after the end of each game, an end game UI will pop up with the leaderboard and the text game over it and over it, which I think looks pretty cool. So currently we're using the free version of Photon and we have a CCU of 20 players which means that at a time 20 people can connect to the servers which is a little less but then that's upgradable in the future so that shouldn't be uh, like a very big issue. So before we start the third week let me just tell you that I'm very bad at 3D modeling and all of the models that I have in my game are basically free assets which I have taken uh, from the internet and the link will be in the description below so you guys can definitely check them out. So during the third week, I added a rig to my character so it no more looks like it's a walking capsule. Uh, I got a rig from Xamo which is a free website owned by Adobe and they have a very nice collection of characters and animations even though I didn't use any of their animations but you guys should definitely give it a shot if you're looking to get into game development. And I also added 7 different weapons to the game which includes 2 ARs, 1 pistol, 1 sniper, 1 shotgun, 1 uh, drum gun which is basically the equivalent of an SMG and a knife. I also made animations for all 7 of these weapons uh, which includes the reload and the equip animations and yeah whenever you press R and you have the knife equipped it actually tosses the knife in the air which I think looks pretty cool and I also picked up a few gun sounds from an online website which I have a link in the description below. I also worked more on networking so now you can actually create and join lobbies. So in a nutshell that was my third week of game development. During the fourth week I started winding up the game, I decided a name for it which was called Project Recoil and just in case you guys are wondering where that name came from, it actually came from one of my brother's toys, uh, a laser tag game called Recoil. 
I also designed the map for a game which I called Vortex. Now, just in case you guys are wondering where that name came from, it actually came from a Discord user. So the map I ended up making consisted of only two free packs, which was the des FPS Desert Environment pack and the main building which I have is from another free pack. And I kind of felt bad because I had literally no originality in the map. So I ended up deciding to uh, scan one of my dad's cars because he's a car collector. And he has a couple of cars which exactly match the theme of our game. I ended up using display land but it didn't turn out that great. But I luckily found a guy on discord which helped me with the renders in my game which uh, we used for advertisement and also agreed to make a free jeep model for me. Um, he basically made an exact replica of my dad's jeep and because I've used so many free assets I decided that I need to give back to the community. So the jeep is going to be a free asset for all of you guys to download and the guy who made the renders and the jeep for me is called E2. He's an amazing dude, he's very talented and you guys should definitely check out his portfolio which I will link in the description below and let him know that I have sent you guys over. And now coming back to the game, I also needed a music for my main menu. So I decided to reach to my best friends Arden and Rebuff who basically made the music for me. Uh, they did an incredible job with it and they basically made the music using GarageBand. I will also link their profiles in the description below so guys please check them out. They are like my best friends and they did an incredible job with it. And all three of them helped me a lot with this project and they are also a very big part of the project recall team because without them this thing would have been impossible for me to do. And during the fourth week I also polished the game. I made the death animation and the player animations. Me and a group of friends also carried out various tests to ensure that the game was working absolutely fine. Uh, we bumped up the graphics a bit. I also uploaded the trailer on YouTube and made a few social media pages, especially Instagram, to help promote the game. I also made a Discord server and on April 5th, the day I'm recording this video, we currently have 369 views on a trailer, which are not too much but I think they're doing absolutely fine. So I have a couple of regrets with Project Recoil and the first thing is that I was not able to add a proper kill feed system uh, which kind of sucks because I was not able to figure out how I'm supposed to add that to the game. Um, another regret I have is not adding more cars. Actually my dad also owns a pretty awesome Land Rover Series 3 but what happened is that the day before lockdown started in my country my dad gave it to the mechanic so I did not really have it at home to be able to scan it because it would have looked very cool. And to be honest, the player animation looks awful. I could have spent more time onto it. Uh, but let me just get straight onto it. I could have definitely spent more time on Project Recoil, you know, polishing the game a lot more. But what actually happened is that I'm a senior in high school. And for the past one month, I have literally done no studies. And I feel now it's kind of starting to affect my academics. Uh, so it's probably time for me to get back to my studies. Because whenever I'm with the project, I just go all in and I don't do anything else. So yeah, probably it's time for me to get back to my studies. But yeah, I will still continue development on Project Recoil. We'll add more maps in the future and we'll bring out more updates with more weapons, characters and more game modes. So that is what probably the future of Project Recoil is going to be. And I'm going to shift the project to a more part time thing. So I'm going to work on it over weekends and I'm pretty sure I will bring out another update very soon. And yeah, before I end this video, I would like to thank everyone who supported me throughout this journey. And guys, do download Project Recoil. The link is in the description below go ahead and download it and also join a discord server because i'm gonna be there online you guys can reach out to me there and if you have any more queries i can answer you directly over there and we can also play together so yeah probably this was it for this video thank you guys so much for watching and peace out